Hi, good evening, and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. Tonight, I'm making this delicious pierogi recipe that is so easy, you're gonna be amazed. Um, what I have here is the filling that goes into the pierogies. Now this is riced potatoes. So I've cooked the potatoes and I've riced them. And this is what riced potatoes look like. So here's my ricer, and I've got these cooked potatoes, and you just, you simply push this through until they all come out the other end. And I'll show you what that looks like. So riced potatoes, look like this. They're, they're beautifully mashed is actually what they are and it's perfect for our, our pierogies. So I have, um, I've got two cups of the rice potatoes, one cup of dry curd cottage cheese. I have some salt and pepper, about, you know, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, some dill, quarter of a teaspoon, and one egg. So there's my filling for the pierogies. That's all ready to go. Now, you can get your dry curd cottage cheese in the grocery store, and it looks like this. It used to come in bags, now it comes just like cottage cheese, but it's dry, and it, it's perfect, because this is actually the recipe that I got from Mother Boris, who is my kid's grandmother, my mother-in-law. So, in the bowl, this is the dough. Three quarters of a cup of flour, and half a cup of sour cream. Now, this is the full fat sour cream. Don't skimp out, don't use the low fat, because it just, well, it just doesn't taste that good. So, sour cream in, and you stir that up. Now, you'll be, you'll think, you'll be looking at this thinking, oh, that's never gonna work, but in actual fact, it works. So just keep stirring it up, and then you have to turn it out onto your board. So, three quarters of a cup of flour and sour cream. Okay, so when it gets to the point where you're thinking, okay, this is never going to be a dough, that's when you actually turn it out onto your board and you've got all this flour and bits and sour cream, and you're thinking, oh, I don't know, Miriam. This doesn't look that good. Trust me, it works. All right, so here on the board, now you try to form it into a dough, a ball of dough. So you just keep working it, and you keep getting the flour from the bottom to the top, and all of a sudden, it starts to take shape of dough. And it's this is really, amazing because it's so light and fluffy it's kind of crazy where's that i'm going to just take the rest of the sour cream out of that i don't want to waste any and with the pierogi dough you have to knead it a little bit not you don't want to over knead it but you definitely want to knead it so that it's light and pliable that's really really soft when you're finished with it it's really soft so as you see it's now forming into a ball of dough and it's going to be delicious. So I've, I've just made one batch, so now I'm going to make the second batch. Now if it becomes sticky, you have to add a little bit of flour, not a lot, just a little bit. So once you've got it so that it's nice and smooth all the way around and all the flour is incorporated and it's not too sticky, then you can start rolling it out. Now this little bit of dough only makes about nine pierogies, but it's perfect for what we need. So what I'll do is I will um, show you how to roll this out, and then I'll take you to the next stage, which of course is the boiling of the pierogies, and then the frying of the pierogies. So here's my disc of dough. Easy, yes? All right. Roll that out. About a quarter of an inch, uh, no, an eighth of an inch thick. You don't want it really, really thick, because then you have all dough and no filling. And you definitely want to taste this filling because it's so delicious. So I roll it out to keep turning it around until it's nice and thin. If it starts to stick, just add a little bit of flour to the top. And with your cookie cutter, so I'm using this cookie cutter, so that's like a two inch cookie cutter. I'm going to cut out rings. And beside me here, I have a bowl of water. Right here on my board, I have a bowl of water. Because as I'm doing this, I'm going to moisten the end edges so that I can um, make sure that the pierogies stick together. So, as you can see, my hands are all full of dough, so I'm just going to take all that off. All right, pierogi filling. Here we go. So, with your fingertip, just moisten half a half moon, a smile, on your dough. About a, te a heaping teaspoon, so that much filling. Now, just fold it over and press it together. And that's as easy as it is. So take, do it again. One circle, moisten half, take a heaping teaspoon, 
any more and it starts to burst and you don't want them to burst in the water. And then just squeeze it like this. You see that? Squeeze it together. And I like the fluted edges. It kind of gives the pierogies a really neat finishing touch. So there's the pierogies. I'm just going to carry on with these. I'm going to fill all these. Now this is a lot of filling, so you could probably make like four dozen pierogies with this, but that's fine. This keeps very well in the fridge. And actually it's best to make this filling the night before. So after I do this, I'm going to get my boiling water going. You drop your pierogies in boiling, a little bit of salted water, and then once they, once you've dropped them all in, turn your timer on and they, and once they come to the surface, then you cook them for another two minutes. After that, I take them right from the boiling pot of water, right into a saute pot with beautifully delicious sauteed onions, isn't that gorgeous? Sauteed onions and uh, butter and olive oil. And if you don't want to use butter, you can all, uh, of course you can use coconut oil, which would be very good for you. So I'm just going to carry on here, filling my pierogies. Okay, my pierogies are all made, and now I've boiled these pierogies for two minutes, and I'm going to pop them in the butter and the olive oil and the onions over here. So I'm going to show you how I do this. All you do is you just take your pierogi and you just drop it into the boiling water. Once they come to the top, set your timer for two minutes, boil them for two minutes. So, this is what you end up with in the other pot. And because your pierogies are already cooked, you don't really have to cook them for a long time in the onions and the oil. You just give them a nice coating. And then, you put them on your plate with your with your onions and your butter and that's your pierogi dish for tonight. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered and don't they look delicious? They are uh, without a doubt the most beautiful pierogies and these come from the recipe of Mother Boris so that's what they look like inside with a little bit of sour cream and there you go. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered.